Hello everyone, Mark here, back in the Vitamin Cinema Vault, ready to recommend another film that I know for sure will deliver a huge dose of goodness. So, I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm not very good around horror films, but that doesn't mean there are none down here in the darker corners of the Vitamin Cinema Vault. And this week's recommendation can be found on a shelf in one such dark corner. But before I tell you what it is, here's a thought experiment. Imagine brushing up against someone you've never met before and you instantly know that you're in the presence of a person who's destined to commit an atrocity of unimaginable cruelty. What would you do? Would you retreat or would you act? Today's Vitamin Cinema film is The Dead Zone. The Dead Zone, directed by David Cronenberg and based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, stars Christopher Walken as Johnny Smith and Martin Sheen as presidential candidate Greg Stilson. There are also very touching, understated performances from Herbert Lom as Dr. Wysak and Brooke Adams as Sarah, the love of Johnny's life. Now, of course, like every other film in the Vitamin Cinema Vault, The Dead Zone defies the conventions of the genre it is normally associated with. So The Dead Zone is not really a horror movie at all. Neither is it a typical psychological thriller. The Dead Zone is actually a riveting and provocative morality tale that explores the thought experiment that I challenged you with earlier. Although made in the 80s, this film has never been more relevant or worthy of your attention. Christopher Walken plays Johnny Smith, an English teacher who, following a shocking accident, is left in a coma for five years. When he wakes up, Johnny discovers that everything around him has changed and a lot has been taken from him. But more, Johnny also discovers that something deep inside him has changed and a new gift or curse has been added to his capabilities. Inexplicably, the power of second sight has taken possession of Johnny. He simply has to touch someone to find himself living within a critically important moment in that person's past or future. Walken's sensitive and tentative performance is, in my view, one of his finest. You truly sense the eggshells all around Johnny that he's desperately trying to avoid stepping on. Johnny's emotions are always close to the surface and the ever-present crisis in his head is presented with so much honesty that we realise very quickly this is a unique opportunity to watch a man lose touch with himself. Johnny doesn't know who or what he is anymore. Martin Sheen is the screen world's perennial occupant of the Oval Office, but in this film, he's yet to enter the White House. However, Sheen's relentless, bounding optimism as Greg Stilson leaves us in no doubt he is the right man at the right time, destined to be the leader of the free world. However, privately, Stilson is a power-crazed egotist with no time for the truth or the press or anyone who is likely to hinder his path to his allotted destiny. When Johnny meets Stilson and shakes his hand, a shocking revelation comes to life and Johnny knows that he must... No. You'll have to watch this provocative and prescient film. Cronenberg, an acknowledged master of suspense, is tremendously economic in his approach to the shooting of this film. The camera hovers and dwells close to Walken for most of the time. There's almost no invasive trickery employed until those moments arrive when Walken's character Johnny experiences an episode or vision. Now, given the era when this film was made, Walken actually had to experience the fire and fury that came with these moments of revelation. And this surely energizes his performance. Walken's fear, desperation and anger is, in my view, real. The Dead Zone is an extraordinary film that asks us to consider what our responsibility to the future actually is. How much are we entitled to influence or change it? Are we allowed to play God? Or is acting to prevent a future evil really the act of someone who is truly human? This film might be from the 1980s, 
But the questions it poses are immensely relevant to our era. Do we still care or indeed know what the truth really is? Can we confidently trust the motives of those to whom we grant the right to lead us? Like so many horror movies, The Dead Zone will keep you on the edge of your seat, but it will also make you think and care about the future. How many horror movies can you say that about? So I really hope that in your immediate future, you'll make the time to watch The Dead Zone. It will do you good. I absolutely know that's the truth. In the description box below the frame I'm sitting in, you'll find links to sites where you can get hold of this film and watch it. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it. And I'd be so thrilled if you subscribe to Vitamin Cinema right now. If you click on the notifications icon, you'll get regular updates about upcoming Vitamin Cinema episodes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next Thursday for another dose of screen goodness. Now, it's over to you. It's time to watch The Dead Zone. I absolutely promise you, it will do you good. 